Hello Rock Bags, it's Jade. Welcome to another grounded video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a full kit of free stuff. It is a bit rotten, I ain't gonna lie. It's maybe not something you want to have all the time and obviously when these items become available to make and craft, they'll be much better. But first off, I'm gonna show you how to get the bee armor, legit. No cheats, I'm gonna run through the cave with pretty much only oak armor and we're gonna get some. I'm also gonna show you where to get the lava blade. You probably found it, but just in case you're a bit of a noob, that's a really good weapon. I'm also gonna show you where the forest Easter egg is, which has the ant club, loads of ant heads and ant parts. And I'm also gonna show you the mint mallet a little bit just talking about why that's going to be important why it's so good but that is a little bit further off so don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and let's crack on so for now we can only have the rotten sets and it's the same with the other stuff but if you analyze it all it will give you the recipes that you can actually make for this stuff when it actually arrives properly or if you just want to get it maybe on day one even so i'm doing the first part of this legit i did this in a live stream just to show it can be done I've got the larvae blade, which I'm going to show last, and I've also got the armor set of the acorns. And here I am, I'm going to go left. At the very first fork you get, go left. This is the way you got to go. Now, the soldier ants are pretty tough. Like, if you come across them, you're going to be in trouble. And as long as you can avoid them mostly, you should be okay. And try not attacking any of the other ants. That's when they're all going to go pretty much mad at you. Now, you can see my health. That's what the acorn armor does. It gives you maximum health. So it will give you a chance to maybe have a few more hits against you. I wasn't doing very good here, to be honest. I was getting owned a little bit. I bought a bandage with me and you are gonna need at least three or four torches depending on how quickly you do this. So you can see they're all kind of ganging up on me and I'm about to die by the looks of things unless I maybe make a leg it. And that's what I ended up doing. I ran for it and healed up. Of course, if you're at the stage that you've made a bunch of different armors, you can actually go in this cave with all ant armor, all three pieces, and the ants will leave you alone. So it's even easier to get some of this bee armor. If you've got a full set of ant armor, that's its side effect extra buff, the ants will leave you alone. Now I've gone down here into the water, but actually we need to go back up to get back into the first part of the cave where we will get the first part of the bee armor. It's on the left hand side. So when you get to the choice, if you go left, you'll find water, if you go right, you'll find a little cave with lots of food but I had to jump into the water to avoid them um, and I'm gonna have to do it again because they're so tough. What I should have done was gone and got the ant club because the ant club pretty much makes mean work out of soldier ants. Usually free swings it'll be knocked out and then you can hit it with something faster or carry on taking it out but eventually I decided I'll just use my normal club and see if that would do the job and it just about managed to do it. Literally, look, you can see how much damage it's doing to me. And I managed to knock it out and finish the job. I have tried doing this on like day one, the minute I spawned, I literally came here, made some torches and yeah, I got owned. It's really tough. They will absolutely own you. So not advised, at least try and get the oak armor set, I would. So I spent some time healing up. I made sure I got all my food in me and made sure I got everything equipped and I went and checked what I needed to carry on making some more weapons and see if the spear would do the job a little bit better because it just wasn't seeming to be doing too much with the larvae blade here. And remember, they're not as good as their, their best options. They've got maybe half the capacity. So like the bee armor, it's definitely gonna be a lot better when we get the full stuff. And the ant club, it only does about three quarters of the stun damage as a full ant club that you'll be able to make yourself. But instead, I've gone into the second cave now on the right hand side and you can see there's also where you get the burgle chip. That's really important just in case you have missed this. Make sure you pick that up. That's gonna unlock lots of recipes, including more advanced base building defense pieces, basically walls with stems. And here you go, you wanna be looking for skeleton remains as there will be something here and we've got the shoulder pads. So that's the first part, we've got it. We can now get on to the next two. So back out of the cave now, we can leave and we're gonna to head to the right hand side, back to that water where we just were, and then we're gonna swim underneath to get ourselves some science points. There's also a scab in here and there are a bunch more science points. So it's definitely worth exploring this. If you don't get the bee armor set straight away, you think it's not worth it, or you're gonna wait until you get the ant armor, fully explore all of these caves to get all the science points. You'll find at least a thousand. There's two big 500 lots and you may even find a bit more. Now we've got a little bit of a rise. I'm being a bit more careful because I don't want to risk it. I've got my health all the way back up, but my torches are gonna to be running out soon unless I'm actually being a bit quicker. So in this opening up here, there's a hole in the floor and there's an entrance right directly in front of us. You want to avoid that hole. That hole puts you back into the cave you just were where you found the bee shoulder pads. 
But more importantly, on the right hand side is where you'll find the next piece of the shin guards, the B shin guards. So don't fall down that hole, or maybe you do, just to avoid the ants, it will get you out of trouble. And then go down to the left hand side, this is where the extra scab is, the Neo Move one. It's okay, it's not the best colour. Uh, keep running upwards, and you should be into a much larger chamber, also another 500 points. On top of this ledge right here, here is another remains, and this is where you're going to find the third and final set. Now in that room I just was, that's where often you'll find some eggs. Top tip, I'm gonna be doing a separate video testing this, but I've been reliably informed that if you kill all the ants, that's when you'll start spawning back some eggs again. You need to kill a bunch of them. In fact, if you run to this ant cave as soon as you spawn on a fresh game, you should see lots of eggs because the ants, the eggs hatch. So that's why you might see all of a sudden 50 ants in this place. It's because all of the eggs have hatched. So that is pretty much it. We've got all the armor set now. We can just get out of here. I did decide to equip it all and it was a bit glitched out for whatever reason. It just wasn't working, looking very good. But yeah, it's a decent little set. It's gonna give you extra sprint speed, but there's no side effects for it because it, I guess it's broken. So maybe the full version will give us even better buffs as well as obviously be just much better anyway. So here it is on the map, just in case you wanted to check it out properly. This is the anthill. It's pretty much near where you spawn. I'm with my mate Boney this time, and uh, yeah, just wanted to go through it, and I did it one more time because I needed a screenshot of the map, because you guys said I wasn't checking the map enough for you. Overall, the B armor gives you nearly four defense, even when it's in its rotten state, so it could be worth it, and it does mean that you can sprint for longer. So next up we've got the Lava Blade. Now this is something that I think you should be able to get pretty much within the first 15 minutes of playing the game. It's definitely well worth it as it's going to give you a pretty decent weapon early, early on. Nearly 2 damage, around 7 speed but no stun and here you can see it's on the map just in that location past the great big massive log. And for extra help it's just by the hot dogs, although sometimes they're not always hot dogs, sometimes they might be apples and just past the paint tins as well. Next up, I'm gonna show you guys the forest inspired Easter egg, which has got the ant club in it and it's got a skeleton. It's also got loads of ant parts. You don't even have to kill ant parts if you want to come to this location. You'll get ant heads and ant parts, but you won't get any mandibles. Now it's all the way over on the east side by the berry bushes, pretty much opposite or just past the bird bath. You'll see the door on the left, another lab door. That pretty much just brings you to probably the big next story segment that isn't ready yet, so you can't get through that door. If you got this twig though on the left hand side, be careful. It does look like the wolf spiders do spawn out of this location or very close to it sometimes. And just in this little crack on the left hand side is the reference to the forest. Now, do you know what the forest is? It's probably my favorite survival game out of all of them I've covered over the years. Now I did go through here in the dark and then I realized that makes a really rubbish video. I need to show you this cave properly with a torch so you can see all these creepy ant heads. So as I said, the forest is the inspiration. You go through lots of caves in the forest. It's a pretty mature, pretty horrible game really. And there's lots of mutants and they've got these weird creations that these mutants have got weird arms and legs and they put all these things on the walls. And here's where you'll find the ant club. Now as I said, this one is rotten, so you should be able to make an ant club fairly easily. You won't need to come here just to get this, as it's not as special as the bee armor or even the lava blade. But I still think, as a free item, it's pretty decent to grab hold of if you're nearby. Now in the demo, there was also a recipe for the actual sticks, for the ant sticks on the heads. That's what you could find here as well, but it looks like they've removed it and you've only now got the ant club and another package filled with ant heads. Also something I'm noticing playing it back, it's actually got a very similar sounding music file that's just come on. I swear I've never heard this music while playing the game before and it just only comes on when you're in this cave. Maybe I've got that wrong, but honestly, I don't think I've heard it. Anyway, don't forget to get all the ant parts. The ant parts are all in the middle of these ant heads, and you should be able to actually make this. I don't think you need a recipe part for it anymore. I think you will just get it fired by scanning lots of stuff. And finishing off with pretty much the most OP weapon in the game. Now this one, you are gonna have to craft stuff and you are gonna have to spend a long time getting it, but I thought I would show it as it's still kind of important as some of you guys have been telling me, you've been eating these mint pieces. Do not eat them, scan them. You have to scan them and you have to get a level two ax. Once you've got a level two ax, which is pretty hard to get, 
um, you will be able to then get the mint chunks from it and you'll be able to make the mint mallet, which is OP. You will be taking out wolf spiders like no one's business if you can get hold of some of these mints. Just look at it, you need five pieces of mint, nine spider silk and eight flower petals, but it's a beast of a weapon. Needing maximum damage, maximum stun, and the speed is slow, but you won't need to worry about that because it's so powerful. And that is pretty much it. So yeah, don't worry about the mint too much. Just I wouldn't try even bothering getting it just yet until you've definitely got that level two hammer. Um, but yeah, it's definitely here. It's right near where you actually get the big electrical surges coming through. So it's pretty easy to spot. You'll probably have come across it by the time you're actually ready to go and maybe get some of the pieces. But definitely do so. The first chance you get it is an OP weapon. I hope this has been useful. I hope it's been beneficial let me know if you found these already let me know if you find any more but i truly believe that is the only kind of free stuff you can find in the game at the moment and i will of course let you guys know of any changes in the future later's rat bags